Hey guys, PG here. In this video, we're going to dive deep into Figma Slides, which is a recent update that they did in 2024, which basically enabled you to have the ability to create interactive slides directly in Figma. Now, as you may know, previously, I loved creating slides in Canva, but I have to tell you, this new feature in Figma really is a massive upgrade to our designer's workflow. So you definitely have to at least give it a shot. And uh, let's get started. And we're going to go into Figma and I'm going to create a new slide deck, which is a new option, just like you can create a Figma file or a FigGen file. Now you are going to have this uh, slide. And uh, as you can see, you can either start from scratch, you can start from an outline, which is uh, pretty freaking awesome in the sense that it uh, enables you to summarize a FigGem board. So you can easily go on FigGem, uh, create a brainstorming session, and then it's going to basically utilize AI in order to summarize that FigGem board into a slice. Or you can go into these uh, basic uh, templates or some of the more advanced ones, uh, or by advanced, I'm simply <laughs> referring to some cool looking templates, which is what we're going to do right now. So let's just focus on one and I'm going to go with this one right here. So view template, as always, you can view the template and you can either add all of the slides. So you're going to leverage them directly by you know, having this uh, all, all slides, uh, or you can just start with one and basically go from there. Um, I'm actually going to add those slides. And as you can see, even here, you can create an outline. So the moment that you click on it, I can actually select uh, uh, one of the previous uh, FigGem uh, files, and uh, it's going to create an outline from that uh, FigGem file. So pretty cool. And uh, let's go ahead and add uh, all the slides. So as you can see, this is quite uh, quite basic. We're already familiar with uh, this uh, um, interface. Uh, it's very similar to some of the other softwares that we used in the past, uh, as well as Figma, of course. So on the left, uh, you're going to find all of the different slides. You can utilize the arrows, keys, uh, in order to go up and down. Uh, you can create a new slide directly from here. So either you can add a slide from the template, uh, so you can literally just say, oh, okay, I'm gonna add this slide uh, right here, or actually it's going to add it at the bottom perhaps. Okay, okay, that works. <laughs> and uh, basically that's the first option, or we can create a, um, an empty slide. So pretty simple so far. And uh, as you can see at the bottom, you're going to find the options which uh, are somewhat uh, similar to what we were having in a regular Figma file and also in uh, the FigGem files. So we're going to have here the text, uh, the image video, shapes, uh, tables, which is going to enable us to create tables. So similarly to FigGem to some degree. I won't go into too much detail because I think for the most part, these are going to be self-explanatory and you're already familiar with this. Uh, live interaction is uh, something which is quite uh, cool. And um, basically it's uh, going to give your audience something to interact with when you present, like a quick poll or interactive prototype. So this is pretty, pretty cool. Um, you can have a poll, so you can have a question and they can decide between multiple answers. Uh, uh, you can have stamps, uh, I reviewed this deck, you and three other stamp, uh, alignment. So if you can see the general consensus, if they disagree or agree, or if they're new neutral, and of course you can customize these. Uh, and the prototype, which is going to enable to add a prototype from a design file directly into one of these slides. So pretty cool. Uh, I really love these uh, live interaction. And of course, commenting feature, because that's going to be a no brainer. And uh, over here we have these, um, these actions, they were calling it. So uh, you can essentially, I'm actually wondering if they have the plugins over here. So can I search for, okay. These are going to be quick actions. So just uh, having a look right now and then plus, 
we can have uh, all sorts of different assets uh, such as uh, icons I'm seeing right here or you can add it from your own library so pretty nice uh, and uh, once you select one of the elements uh, you, of course you're going to have on the right hand side all of the basic uh, features which uh, you're already familiar with in Figma um, what I'm seeing here though is that it's uh, kind of like a simplified uh, menu, a simplified uh, UI compared to what we're used to, uh, rightfully because we, we don't want to focus on too much of uh, those details. And um, over here I can see that for example the fill, I can create a quick gradient on the fly, I can add an image as a background, I can organize the opacity, you can organize the corner radius, uh, uh, borders, solid, uh, dotted, and uh, dashed. So these are, they, they really like went a step ahead and thought about what are going to be the most uh, useful elements uh, that we usually use. Uh, shadows, things of that nature in, uh, in presentations are going to be quite used. So yeah, that's uh, it's looking pretty, pretty cool. And of course, we're going to have the animate uh, um, section which uh, for slide two I'm assuming it's going to animate the entire uh, the entire slide and I can also apply it to on to all slide so if I go ahead and click on play and that we're going to select simply present you can also see that there is this uh, present plus notes and the notes are essentially going to be on these notes uh, right here so you can add presenter notes and uh, that is going to make it easy. You can always uh, all, also copy a presentation link and share it. So we're going to simply present uh, over here. And let's see. So the moment that I <clears throat> move uh, and uh, basically browse, go from one screen to the other, you can see this dissolve effect. So yeah, pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, it's going to be quite, uh, um, quite, quite you know, basic actions uh, which are animations you can also have the smart animate, which is going to be quite interesting. Uh, you can definitely do things with uh, that, as you know. And um, yeah, this is uh, looking really, really clean. And uh, overall, I'm loving the direction. Curious to hear your thoughts. And if you have questions about smart animate, feel free to leave them in uh, or <laughs> these slides. I was already thinking about the previous uh, animation. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. And uh, I want to remind you that on my channel, I have over 900 free videos on uh, UI UX design, uh, sharing my over decade of experience in the field. So yeah, if you have any inquiries, uh, questions, uh, just let me know. And I'll see you in the very next video. Cheers.